That's why I say, hey, you are here, then well, we follow you. Uh. First time here also. So I don't know, I don't know what is good. Opening here. I'm gonna eat every single store here. Today. <laughs> Good afternoon, people. It's been a very long time since we did hawker already, okay? So today I'm here at the newest one. It's Bukit Canberra. It feels very green. The concept looks a bit different from the typical hawker. I'm going to try to cover every single store. I'm not sure how many stores are open today. I think with my current capacity, I should be able to put down about 20 to 25 stores. I think, I think. But the team is with me. Anything, I'll just get them to help. Because there are stores that are not open and there are stores that are... They are, they, are, they are yet to come in because this Hawker Center is super new. So let's see what, what they have here. I'm going to eat every single stall, so you guys don't have to. Salted duck, I think I've seen that on social media. I've never had salted duck before. Is this like a what, Taiwanese thing? No sing, no sing. If you like which part is the best, you can give me which part. Boss is very friendly. He asked me which part of the duck I prefer. Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, we're doing that. I think the most challenging part today, right, is not to eat everything. I've never tried ordering every single store from a hawker before, which is quite insane. Oh, you see another one here. Your side is which one? You give me. Side side. Side side is this one. Yeah. Okay, then you give me this one. Store. I walk past your store, but your store not open. Open already. Open. Okay, come. Show what is what is your uh, especially open for us? So I don't see tacos in oh, a hawker. Right. Yeah, we get tacos. Uh, come, we get your what's your famous taco? Barbecue chicken? Is it? I want to try the pongko nasi lemak. I heard it's not bad, but sadly it's not open. Eh. I don't. Maybe they'll open later. Like if there is, then I'll add in. Menu, you will charge extra. Right? Menu, same discount, discount. Thanks for dropping by. Hi, hi, hi. I really like your videos. Thank you very much. Our Singapore pride. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Don't say anything. I'm very shy. Come. Come. Liverpool. Liverpool. It's on long queue, ah, guys. It's on long queue. Ah? We've done enough curry rice challenge. But when I see curry rice, I will cannot help but want to order. Okay, I, I think we can finish every single stall. It's not that much, not that many stall. This is a party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Almost every single store that is open is here already. Like. Except for two more stalls. The queue is extremely long. One is the Changi Village Hokkien Mi, and the other one is the some Akong, don't know what, Bar Chow Mi or something. Yeah, Teochew Bar Chow Mi. I had the Ama one before, la, but I've never had the Akong one. So we, we see how this tastes. Ama one was pretty good. A lot of food here, a lot of food today. A lot of people crowding also. I, I don't know why this hawker is so. Uh, so popular. Like I mentioned earlier, this is more like a dinner sort of hawker. La. And so we're gonna, I'm gonna start with the noodle dishes. All the dishes are sort of cold already. La. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna down some noodle dishes first. Then we're gonna slowly move on. Okay, we got a team with me. La. I got Steven, I got Sean. They're probably just gonna help a bit, la, but I don't think they're gonna put in much damage la, today. Okay, we'll see. La. I'm gonna start with one, one tan noodle first. This one from which one? Tanjong Ru. Tanjong Ru. Okay, I've never had Tanjong Ru one before. Let's try. Oh, it has much chili. So, no, I, I spice a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's like too hungry, but this is actually good. Check the time. Just don't do that. You make me a lot of pressure. You kill me for how long? 30 minutes. 
This one is John Q for 30 minutes. Uh. It's, what's the name again? Akong Teochew Noodle. Akong Teochew Noodle. It better be damn good. Eh. 30 minutes kill. It tastes very... The alkali taste is very strong. Actually not bad. Uh. But will I kill 30 minutes? I'm not sure. Eh. But it's actually not bad. This dish, uh, Sean's super excited. I try rice first. Uh. This is the salted duck, salted water duck or something. And oh man, the gravy quite pumped. The duck is like pork run, a bit of saltiness. Um, they added a whole lot of crispy shallots on top. No, crispy garlic, which gives it a lot of like very, very nice fragrance to it. Oh, how good, how good. I regret not ordering a bigger size this one. Hey, wait, guy, guy, close up, close up, close up. Uh, well, they are working on that, I'm gonna eat this one. This is also famous one, right? This one? Yuki. Yuki, yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, one is braised, one is. Oh, my favorite, yeah. This is good, but that one, the duck is really very, very tender. Okay, I'm full already, the rest you'll eat. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait, this one, this one also the queue very long. This one, didn't make the queue how long? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Half an hour. No way. Wow. Wait, I may add a bit of chili and try. It's actually good. Eh? The amount of like the gravy, the moisture, right? It's just nice. But then I feel like it lacks a bit of flavor. Lacks what here? I don't think I don't taste what here at all. Okay, this one, guys. This is Leita. This is if I translate it directly, right? It's under tea. Eh? This is a very healthy dish. Uh. A lot of vegetables inside. They have kale, they have um, they have from, from tofu, they got the Thai pot, they got the bean sprouts. They got vegetables that I don't even know what is it. I like it. I want to try. Not very fast. A few more bites is gone. This is actually good. Eh? All the vegetables, right? All the different vegetables gives it a very nice crunch. So you bite out a lot of different texture. And then they added the chai pork. The chai pork gives it a very nice, subtle sweetness to finish off. Very, very good. I like it. Think of the soup as some sort of pesto kind of base. Eh? Yeah. Minty, a little bit minty. A little bit herbaceous, but. But they are, they are, they are, they are char, right? The soup is quite tough. Okay, next up. So it's right here, just uh -huh. here. And then, it's called a boat noodle place. Uh, I can be honest, uh, I cannot review it properly because it's all like become like that. Already. All that broth, right? It's all soaked up, right? Just gonna come. It looks good. Mm. This is what tender. Nah. Not bad. Very good. The tender, very tender. I cannot taste much of the broth. Nah. It's more like gravy. Eh? The gravy, right, is a little bit uh, very, very herbal. Very, very herbal. Uh, I could taste a lot of herbs, like tart, anise, all the, all the kind of stuff. Inside. Don't have that much ingredients. It's just a bit of morning glory the noodle, and then the broth. Okay guys, we order every everything we order, uh, which is the signature of that, that specific store, uh, okay? Whether it's good or not, we don't know, okay? So we just get the owners to recommend, and then we order whatever. This one is satay, what satay is this? All chicken, uh. we switch over first, uh, we down some of the halal dishes first. This one, right, the satay sauce looks very different. Why is it this color? Usually it's a peanut, peanut sort of like, you know?
not bad. I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out like... What's all that? Yeah, the sauce. Dan tastes very peanutty. The satay not bad. What I like about the satay is... There's some fats inside. Uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stick with the okay. I don't mix utensils uh. so this one is halal one, so I am using the 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 utensils from this store. This is the first item that I ordered actually. It's been sitting out for at least one hour plus really. Close to two hours really. Ah. It does look promising you know, but we <laughs> see. Pretty good, it's pretty good. This thing I know that it's been sitting here for almost two hours really. Still tastes good. It's not that kind of brani that's too spicy. I know you know some brani is just way too spicy. This is I would consider it some sort of dumb brani. Not super spicy. Mutton is nice and tender. I like that they give a side of this uh, I don't know what they call this, uh, this little salad here with like onions, raw onions and all. Sort of like cleanse your palate a little bit. Pretty good. I should not douse the curry. Oh, your husband's fault. Oh, oh yeah. I shouldn't douse all that curry. I find it too salty, but because I put the entire plate of curry inside. Oh, this is your husband's though, the biryani. Oh, wow. Where are you from? Ukraine. Oh, wow. Is there any Ukraine influence in your biryani? Not really, right? But very good biryani. I like it. Since we are on the halal one, we enjoy the roja and the kebab together. This one is Peru. Uh. This is the the cow lung, which is one of my favorite items to add during when I eat Indian roja. Right. Oh, Try. Okay, so what I have here is a bunch of fried stuff, uh, fried tofu, fried fish cake, uh, cow lungs. Deep fried uh, egg, deep fried hard boiled egg, some fried potatoes, that's about it. I went with things that are very simple. I forgot the name of this story. I'm not sure if it's like a franchise thing or what, but honestly, this is quite good. Uh, you tell them, the, remember the Liverpool fans one? Yeah. Oh, Liverpool. The Liverpool fans one. Okay, the crowd is starting to dissipate a bit already. I'm not very scared. So I never finish, they laugh at me. 10,000 shares already. What more is the most impressive thing you have seen? The duck, the duck, the, duck, the salted duck, duck, the salted duck, yeah. Later we see if it change, okay, along the way. But the salted duck is really quite impressive in my books, ah. Number two, number two. No. I'll take one. I'll take one. Then we'll split it. Let's see who can eat one. He's a burger man. Ha 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 ha. They just finished one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's me. Start. <laughs> this plate of Indian Rojak is $14. I'm pretty sure he added more stuff inside. Next up, we're gonna enjoy the prata. The kebab is actually not bad. Yeah. Mm. Oh, the prata is not bad. This is the kind of prata that I like. Not the super crispy one. It's the very stringy inside one. Curry is perfect as well. Today is very cooling. And I, I think that's uh, one of the things about this hawker. It's very open air. This taco store, the name very interesting. I remember the name. The initials is STFU. But I forgot what it means. It's not the swearing thing. Some sort of barbecue chicken taco. The barbecue sauce is actually good. And they added like a bunch of, I think, shredded cabbage. It's not coleslaw. It's like shredded cabbage. The owner is the viewer of the channel. Uh. Okay, so can support, okay? They are young people. And I appreciate young hawkers. So can support, okay? Like I said, I order every single store. So Lok Lok is part of it. I forgot what's, what's the name of this sauce, right? You know, what Thai sauce or something? They say it's extremely spicy. That's the whole point why I want to dip it in there. Because I can take spice. Mm 
Oh, really spicy. Okay, this one is the Cordyceps with uh, some sort of ginseng soup. Uh. It's very nourishing. Uh. Okay, their signature is actually the black chicken. Not this one. Uh. But the black chicken just now, it needs more time. So, uh, we pick this one instead. They give you a very big piece of chicken. Uh. But, but, uh, but, I would prefer the chicken to be a bit more tender. I think this will taste very good if it's hot. Like hot, boiling hot. Okay, this one. This is the Hainanese Chicken Bee Hoon. Okay guys, this is our first time trying to cover the entire hawker. The next time if I want to pull something like that, I definitely need a bit more manpower to help to kill, to help to, you know. Very interesting taste. Though. Not saying it's bad or, or good, but it's sweet. A lot sweeter than I expect it to be. I don't know, it reminds me of Mirobus. I wouldn't expect myself to be enjoying this though. Because this is on the sweeter side. This is on the sweeter side. But it just works for me though. Chicken shreds, minced chicken, and then there's a lot of like uh, roasted peanuts inside. So it gives it a very nice crunch. Other than that, uh, it's just this uh, this gravy that's some like sweet savory. Not bad. They call it lu eh. They call it lu mi fen, but it doesn't taste the braised. I don't taste the braised at all. This one is from the Korean store. This one I also ordered them long. I also ordered them long eh, like two hours already. Really. Grow classic eh. Okay, next up. We left with three items, okay? Starting at full. Uh, this is the fish porridge. It wasn't like that uh, when I ordered this stuff. It looks a lot more appealing, but now it becomes muy fun already. Yo, Poro? Come. Sorry to deserving your No, no, no. Can we take a photo with you? Can, come on. I'll just sit, ah. Uh. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank you. 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 Yeah, the Muslim one is down there, it's like, oh my god, still got two sector one. Uh. Okay, last two items. Hey, I eat so much, I didn't eat the whole hawker. You know what? 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 You know but uh, if you want to compare this with the, I don't know, those that I've featured before, the uh, Seasons Cut. This one is also called Seasons Cut. You compare it with the Seasons Cut, okay, the beach road, right? It's not even close, okay? I'll be honest, okay, I'll be honest. I'm not saying this is bad, okay? But you cannot compare it with the top three in Singapore. They added a lot of walnut, this one. It's quite nice, not bad. The muffin is actually good. I'm left with like, my, my last two bites. Came to the end of this video, uh, well, this is really a stretch. Quite a lot of items quite intense. Uh, Food-wise, take my review with a pinch of salt, okay? Because a lot of food is already cold. A lot of food is already uh, not in their regular state. But uh, we try to order each and every, every single store, uh, all their iconic items. There are two stores that are relatively famous that is not open today. Uh, one of it is the Pango Nasiloma, and the other one I forgot is which one. Chakwetia or something. All in all, the rest of the stores, uh, a lot, there are some heat, there are a lot of misses as well. Uh, my top three, uh, okay, my top three. Definitely the salted salted water duck or something. That one is very good. Indian rojak is quite, I like it, okay? Maybe it's too long before I last had Indian rojak. This two is really what I think is worth the, I, I, I'll personally come back and eat. Uh. This hawker really very breezy, very windy. Uh, price point is still okay. Okay, very, very affordable as well. Okay, so that's it, okay? That's it for this video. Not every single hawker I can do this. Uh. 
I go Golden Mall and do every single store I'll be dead. Oh yeah, for those that want to actually eat with me, drop me a comment down in this video. Maybe a next hawker one I'll get you guys to come and eat with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.